everybody. Thank you for coming to this concert. Thank you, Sherry, for um, intro the introduction. I just want to give you a little background information of the pieces that I'm performing today. Uh, since I see most of you are not Chinese here, <laughs> <laughs> or originally. Um, so, um, um, and there's a little um, also change of order in the pieces that I'm playing. I'm actually playing, um, the first piece is three variations on plum blossom, and then followed by walking in the snow, searching for plum blossom, and then finally I'll round it up with jasmine. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, and also, um, that's a little bit, uh, just to give you a more accurate uh, information, um, the, actually the composer, um, um, it's not Huang Zi didn't uh, compose all three pieces. It's just the first one, uh, Walking in the Snow. The other two are actually separate composers from different era in Chinese history. So um, that's the um, program. And um, before I start, I actually, um, forgive me, I have a little more information on the pieces. Um, the first piece that I'm performing, three variations on Plum Blossom. It's actually composed um, in the Jin Dynasty um, around 265 to 420. So it's a very old tune. It's um, originally written for Gu Qin, which is um, actually an instrument, um, Chinese instrument, that's kind of like a harp in the sense that the strings, but it's flat. So it, uh, it's like a Gu Zhan, but it's a little bit different. It's, it has a much smaller sound than our concert harp, so it's a little, it, it, today's setting is actually perfect um, for this instrument. Anyway, um, um, this instrument is um, very well known for scholars and the sophisticated gentlemen, and so is this piece, actually it's a very famous piece. Um, and uh, Plum Blossom, anybody know what Plum Blossom is? <laughs> um, it's a kind of flower that blossoms in the winter time, that only blossoms in the snow. So um, in Chinese culture, we very often, I don't know if you noticed, there's a pattern in the three pieces that I transcribed to you today. Um, it's all related to flowers. A lot of the time we use flowers to symbolize people, um, gentlemen we call, um, that um, are very noble, uh, especially in plum blossom. Um, that persevere um, with a lot of integrity. So this is a piece that um, <clears throat> glorifies this beautiful flower in the winter time. And there's a melody. So uh, the melody appears three times um, in this song. So I just want to play for you. Interestingly, in the Guqin, they also use harmonics. So just like the harp, they have harmonics. Very soft sound and very beautiful. And that's kind of the reason why it attracts me in the first place, I thought it would be really interesting to put it on the harp. So uh, let me play for you the melody. It will appear three times um, in different forms. So. It's just an arrangement because I want to emphasize this because I don't play Guqin. So it's quite a lot of challenges. Um, I have to admit, I'm just transcribing it from uh, basing on a piano, existing piano arrangement, and also some addition of my own observation, like the harmonics, I integrated into my own arrangement. So that's the difference between um, <laughs> mine and the original. So I hope you have all enjoy it. Um, three variations. Plum blossom.
Basically, again, it's, it's interesting. Both songs are talking about uh, plum blossoms, but it's about a person riding a donkey into the snow, um, and to gather the plum blossoms, and just how happy. And you hear this chiming of bells. So I'm actually doing something on my feet to uh, create a donkey uh, ringing the bells. So let me just describe you what the singer is singing in the libretto. Um, after the snow on a sunny day, plum blossoms scent the air. Ride my donkeys past the bridge, his bell sounds ding dong. Sounds ding dong, sounds ding dong, sounds ding dong, sounds ding dong. Ding dong is the bell. <laughs> so such lovely flowers beside me. I read and play music. Such a happy time. So hope you all enjoy this um, very popular um, tune.
Puccini used this melody in his um, opera about the Chinese princess. So it was, um, I'm sure you might have heard it. Um, and nowadays uh, it's very commonly used to um, almost like an, maybe second to a national anthem of China. Um, it's used in many uh, important ceremonies. So I hope you enjoy my rendition for the harp. <coughs> 